Hi, Professor. I'm trying to learn about harmony and my tutor mentioned something called the interval box. What is that? Sounds like some kind of torture device. Haha. -ha. No, it's not a torture device. The interval box actually can help you avoid the torture of struggling to identify intervals. It works like this. Draw a box. Divide in half. Create a small section at the top. Write a word augmented air. Create a small section at the bottom. Write diminished in air. Now write perfect in the right hand panel and then put the numbers 1, 4, 5, 8. Draw a line to divide a left panel in half. On the top section of the left panel write major and the numbers 2, 3, 6 and 7. In the lower left panel write minor. Finally draw a two-sided vertical arrow outside the box. Now it's ready. Wow, my head is spinning. Okay, don't panic. Check it out. How does it work? Like this. The numbers represent the different intervals which are an octave or less. One is unison. Four is the fourth. Five is the fifth, etc. The chart works vertically. For example, perfect intervals, when made a half step wider, become augmented. When made narrow by a half step become diminished. But perfect intervals never are major or minor. And major intervals can become augmented, minor or diminished but never perfect. Oh, I think I see. The chart is designed to help you avoid mislabeling intervals. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead and test me on this. Okay, so let's start with C up to G. Before we go further though, you must know and remember this very useful fact. All intervals upward from the root in a major scale are major or perfect. We know by counting letter names, or lines and spaces on the staff, that C up to G is a fifth. Since right now we are thinking in the key of C and we know G is in the key of C we can quickly realize that this interval is a perfect fifth. Play and sing all intervals too, so that you learn the sound of each. Now, using the interval box as a reference, what would C to G sharp be? Well, it's a half step wider than the perfect fifth C to G. So it's an augmented fifth I guess, right? A half step narrower, so a diminished fifth, right? How about C up to B? What's that interval? Well it's a seventh. And B is in the key of C. So it's a major seventh, right? Yes, you got it. And what would C up to B flat be? A half step narrower than major is minor, so C up to B flat would be a minor seventh, right? And how about C up to B double flat? Double flat? Isn't B double flat really an A? Yes, the sound is the same as A. But some chords have notes spelled this way for a reason. What would C up to B double flat be? A diminished seventh? Right. There is a type of chord called a diminished seventh chord, and it uses this interval. Check it out. Oh, yeah. I recognize that sound. It's used in cartoons a lot. Yes, I guess that's why we're using it here, since we're in a cartoon. Okay, I think I'm beginning to see how to use the interval box. Great. Have fun identifying intervals.